It's Mary Prenon, author of I'm Lazy and I Love to Eat. And I am here today with my new friend, Javin Palmer. And Javin is an online health and fitness coach, and he is all the way across the pond in London. Hey, Javin, how are you? Hello, hello. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. And we met actually on LinkedIn, yeah, right? And I think you had seen my profile and my book. And so Javin reached out to me. And, you know, the good part about what I had done in my life, um, just for those who don't know, it took me over 20, almost 20 years to lose 50 pounds. I've kept the weight off, but what I haven't done is properly toned. So even though, you know, I haven't gained the weight back, I'm, I really wasn't that satisfied with the way that, you know, my body was toned. And so when Javin reached out to me about this training opportunity, I, I thought to myself, you know what, I really need to do this because I did not go back to a gym after COVID and I needed somebody to kind of set me on the right path in terms of what exercises to do um, and where to go and what type of training. So, um, and I'm 64, going to be 65 next month. So I figured I better do it now while I can, because I, I don't want to go into the next phase of life being, you know, having, having trouble and, and, you know, from what I've done, we've, uh, I guess it's been about a month so far. I'm really feeling, feeling really great. And I'm feeling that it's, it's working and I do have a lot more to do, but, um, Javin, just tell me about, do you, um, as far as like teaching older, older people, mm -hmm. um, it's never too late, right? It's never too late to start toning. Yeah. So to be honest, um, you can keep doing strength training well into your 70s um, and it's actually been shown to be beneficial for bone strength and we know I don't know uh, like for me I've got quite elderly grandparents and they're very susceptible to bone injuries bone breaks nasty fall downs and if you fall obviously the older you get the more brittle your bones become so the more strength you have and the more muscle you have as you age actually minimizes the amount of things you need, like hip replacements, knee replacements, so on and so forth. So it is critical. It is, it is important. And it's a, a very important part of the process. Um, so there is, Sorry. There is, no, there is no age limit when it comes to uh, the strength training. And what, what should people, I mean, uh, I'm just going to kind of address that this specific, um, you know, like maybe 50 plus we'll talk about. Yeah. Um, what approach do you use? You know, obviously like we're not gonna be able to do a lot of the, you know, crazy things that some of the people in their twenties or even thirties yeah. can do. But um, what do you tell your, your clients that are um, say 50 plus when they're starting out? Um, so, the, the, the most basic thing and, and the real starting point is actually getting used to managing your own body weight. So if you can start to start to develop your push-ups, maybe if you're going to the gym, I know you're training at home, but people that are maybe attending the gym, maybe getting able to do your first pull-up. Um, so working and also using machines as well. So there's nothing wrong with using machines, um, but you do want to try and, if you don't know how to do it already, you do want to try and get that learning curve out of the way because it is quite a learning curve to start training and do strength training. Um, and once you get that learning curve out of the way, it's kind of just upwards from there because it's just consistency, consistency, consistency. So starting point, like very basic starting point is learn to control your body weight. I think that's one of the keys. And I think a lot of people overlook the strength training. I know I did, you know, I did a lot of cardio. I do a lot of walking. I do some, you know, aerobics classes during the pandemic. I did all kinds of um, low impact aerobics on YouTube, but I kind of neglected the weights. And, and I think that that's a big mistake, not only because you're not really toning as much as you possibly could, but also um, I find that it helps your, your mindset as well. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And and you mentioned something there about you're not you, you're not toning when you do that. And basically what happens in that process is when you are just doing um, the cardio, cardio is actually catabolic. And what that means is it can it, too much cardio can actually eat away at your muscle mass. Mm. And 
as a coach, I mean, I come across a lot of people that say they want to get toned, they want more definition. And if we actually kind of break down what does being toned actually mean, right? It just means your muscles being more visible under under and having less body fat. That's really the breakdown of what being toned is. So if you don't have any muscle, then you can never be toned. Mm-hmm. So uh, that's that's kind of the, the, right. the real science behind it. Well, we're going to, um, Javin is making me do these terrible things like taking pictures <laughs> of myself, which I'm very uncomfortable with. Um, so I'm not going to share that with, with anyone now because um, you're kind of like a little Pillsbury Doughboy in the middle. Um, but, uh, but you do give us monthly challenges. And the challenge for, the, for this month was to do try to do a four minute plank. Well, I'm up to a minute and a half, which I think is, is pretty good. Just considering when I first started, I could only do maybe 20 seconds. So um, I'm going to, my goal for myself is, you know, if I can even get to two minutes will be a, a major accomplishment. And I, and I asked Javin if there was like a, a, a senior, <laughs> you know, something for seniors so I can, I can compete with the younger kids. So <laughs> you're doing just fine. Okay, great. Well, you know what? We're going to check in um, every uh, month with with Javin while I'm doing this. This is six months program. And um, like I said, already, I'm starting to see a little bit of results. I'm really happy. Um, I do have to stay on track with the eat. And we're all going to go off of our eating um, healthy things, especially when we're on vacation. Um, And I did. I was in Florida a little while ago and I enjoyed myself. so, but it's important that you track food and for, and I've mentioned this before, I use my fitness pal, which is a free app, um, which is great for tracking calories. It tracks, um, your vitamins, it tracks, um, how much exercise you do too. It'll take that. So, um, we're going to check in monthly and try to, uh, help other people out there who, who are, um, want to, you know, continue their journey. And Javin, why don't you, we'll put it up on the screen, uh, but tell people how they can get in touch with you. Yeah. So I'm on pretty much every single social media platform that is out there, as you would expect from a young millennial. Um, But uh, I'm on TikTok, which is javen.spectrumfit. Spectrum, literally the word spectrum, actually got like 30,000 followers on TikTok. So it's quite quite my big biggest platform by far linkedin just javen palmer p-a-l-m-e-r and then instagram javen.spectrumfit and facebook as well javen palmer so yeah if you just google javen palmer i'm pretty sure you'll be able to find me on one of those platforms and um, i'm more active on linkedin personally that's just where i'll find myself using it the most and obviously email and i also have a podcast and youtube channel as well uh, which i don't even know the name of the youtube channel but the podcast is called The Spectrum of Health. Um, I interview a lot of guests. I do some solo episodes. It's all about health, fitness, uh, mind state, helping you become consistent in the gym and also understanding how to manage nutrition while also being busy and having a family and working because we all know that that's not easy. All right. Well, thank you so much. And um, we will check in with everyone in another month in and month. We'll, we'll see how I'm doing. And I know, cause I don't want him to start yelling at me. Sometimes <laughs> he yells at me. <laughs> You'll be fine. You'll be fine. All right. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you for having me.